New York Living Health and Fitness Report. Announcing you're a vegetarian can spark some pretty heated debates, but whether you do it for ethical reasons or to scale back on calories, there are some common pitfalls that non-meat eaters need to avoid. We've got the story from New York One Health Report. Christine Drexler. Just because you've decided to skip out on the steak and make broccoli and carrots your new best friends, it doesn't mean you'll automatically be able to slip into those skinny jeans. We got advice from Shape Magazine contributing editor Cynthia Sass on some of the common misconceptions those choosing to go vegetarian may have and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, overdosing on cheese. I have been a vegetarian myself for over 20 years and I have seen every mistake in the book because so many people tell me I went vegetarian, I gained weight, so uh, cheese sandwiches, macaroni and cheese, cheese pizza. Now ounce for ounce, one ounce of cheddar cheese has four times more calories and nine times more fat compared to boneless chicken breast, boneless skinless chicken breast. Simple solution, try substituting with beans or lentils. You can still have cheese, but make sure to set a limit to a one ounce serving or the equivalent of a slice or quarter of a cup of shredded cheese. Mistake number two, cutting out on meat and cutting out on protein. You need about 60 to 80 grams of protein a day when you're vegetarian, sometimes even more because vegetarian proteins are a little bit harder to digest. So if you're not going to absorb all of that protein, you need to add a little bit extra. Protein can make you feel fuller longer and help burn more calories. Staff says think about getting a minimum of 60 grams a day. Mistake number three, you may want to cover your kids' ears for this one. Believe it or not, there is such a thing as eating too many vegetables. When a vegetable is more watery filled, it's going to be lower in calories. The less water, it's going to be more carbohydrates. So those really high starch, low water vegetables like peas, corn, you really want to watch those portion sizes. Satisfying your sweet tooth with a chock full of substitutes brings us to mistake number four. Staff says those sweet substitutes can still be loaded with lots of unforeseen calories, so you're going to want to cap your intake to about 200 calories a day. And mistake number five, liquid overflow. A lot of vegetarians are vegan and vegans are into juicing and smoothies and things like that. But a lot of these can pack tons of calories. So one of those um, fruit vegetable combo juices, that can have about 300 calories for a bottle. So to avoid shaking up your diet, you'll want to make sure you're careful with that as well. Cassie Drexel, New York One.